Welcome to another HSExtra.com High School Football Video Coaches Clipboard Edition. I'm Joe Serrer, and I'm joined today by Eastern Guilford Wildcats coach Tony Aguilar. Thank you for taking the time to join us this week. Hey, thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. Your Wildcats got off to a little bit of a rough start this season, losses to Northern Guilford, Williams, and Western Alamance, three good football teams. But you've won four in a row. You've kind of got things uh, sorted out, it seems like. What was the key to kind of turning things around? I know a little bit of it was health. I know you had some injury issues. Uh, honestly, the key was the bye week. Uh, like you mentioned, you know, we started the season missing six starters. Mm -hmm. And we didn't make excuses about it. We didn't, uh, you know, say anything to the newspaper, to the press, to anybody. We just kind of kept it in-house and said, look, it's the next guy that's got to step up, make plays. And, you know, we were – we we didn't and uh you know we, we we honestly took a hard look i took a hard look at ourselves and at our team and mm -hmm. uh the bye week was a great week to do that and we decided look we got to make some changes and we moved some guys around and and that bye week we got five of our six back so that mm -hmm. that also makes a huge difference as well so you know along with m making some some adjustments to our personnel we just decided that you know, we just got to get better and we did What's this team, Wildcats team, doing, doing well right now? Obviously, I look at your quarterback's numbers, Tyreek Boyd. I see the 16 touchdowns, but what really jumps out is zero interceptions. I know what that, that's uh, – I'm not trying to jinx him. <laughs> look, I try not to say nothing to him every week as well. Um, I, I keep trying to remind him, look, it's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, it's not a matter of if but when. But right, uh, right now he's hot. I, I haven't seen a quarterback, you know, college high school and if you know 16 and O's is pretty remarkable and you know he's just he's finally he's got a great understanding of where to go with the ball and mm -hmm. you know the guys are making plays for him and he's making great decisions so uh we need that to continue as far as we can go yep what what else is going well I mean, obviously getting Jay Nevins back healthy running the ball gives you two guys on the ground and and I know you mix Braxton Vega in there a little bit too who does a lot of things for you he does. Uh, and again, we've moved Braxton a little bit to, uh, around on defense. Um, you know, he'll, he's playing a lot of middle linebacker last year. We've moved him more to a outside hybrid type, and that's kept him fresh to be able to play a lot more offense. And, mm -hmm. you know, he brings a physicality to the run game that we've been missing. And, and you know, Jay Cole has stepped up and gave us a one-two punch with Jaden and, and Cole. And like you said, you throw in Braxton in that mix and we feel pretty good there. But the biggest difference has been our up front, our O-line guys, mm -hmm. um, our big cats have, have stepped up. And, you know, like I said, early in the year, we had to use them on defense. And, you know, that was one of those decisions. They're, they can't do it. They can't yeah. uh, handle it. Uh, not that they can't handle it. It's just, we want to keep them fresh for four quarters. And so we decided to take them off the, the D front. And, and that has made a huge difference for us mm -hmm. in, in games. Where does this team have the most room for growth? Where do you want to see them develop as you head down the stretch in conference play in the playoffs? I mean, uh, our kicking game still has got to improve. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our stats are, you know, we'll go seven for eight on extra, extra points. Our, our, you know, special teams has, has been big for us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, early in the season, our special teams kept us in, in games. Kevin Jones and Tim Bagamary, our two special teams coordinators, and Jay Stanley, our, our kicking coach, have done a great job with our special teams and always have. But, you know, I feel like we can just always get better in that area offensively. Um, just continue to grow and, and score points is, is our goal. And, you know, just get better in, in sustained drives all the time. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't punt last week, mm -hmm. and that was a first. So just continue to get better and grow. And defensively, obviously, I mean, you never can – practice tackling enough and practice turnovers enough mm -hmm. and just making plays. So, you know, that's just something we just got to continue to tweak things and, and, and just grow. And that's mm -hmm. what we're looking forward to do. Now you head into the final three games of uh, the conference season in the Mid-State 3A, home game this week against Southern Guilford. Then you got to go to Smith and Dudley. What do you see from this Southern Guilford team? They're a little bit like you in that they, they had a rough start their, their first two losses were pretty decisive, but five in a row, and they seem like they found themselves too. Uh, you know, it's funny you said that. I talked to Coach Bear um, yesterday about mm -hmm. it, and he, he said that, you know, these guys, his guys are playing with a chip on their shoulder, and, mm -hmm. and you can see it. Um, the thing that jumps off when you watch them is uh, they're explosive on both sides of the ball. They got athletes, mm -hmm. and they've kind of changed a little bit. And, and, you know, to his credit, 
you know, I think last year they were going pro eye and then they were going spread. And this year they're letting that quarterback do what he does and he can throw it around. And they got some good athletes that can go catch it. And a uh, little running back, number 26, runs hard. And mm-hmm. I just I just think they got a very good team and, and then they seem well coached and they got athlete, athletes everywhere. So it, I think it's going to be a heck of a night for us Friday. And we're excited for that that showdown. What does your team need to do Friday night? What are the key for you? What keys for you guys to stay unbeaten in the conference? Uh, again, it's is one not beat ourselves, and that's mm-hmm. what we've been preaching. Um, you know, this whole week is just, you know, we feel like right now we're playing good, but don't let it go to your show, your head. Mm-hmm. Just just continue to do what we've been doing and stay to the process, which is continue to work hard and practice, continue to just get better each week. And, uh, you know, the only team we feel like that can beat ourselves right now was us. So, you know, that includes on the field, doing something dumb in school or just, you know, just, yeah. just you know, don't beat ourselves right now. And that's what we feel like we just got to continue to do. But in terms of the game, um, you know, field position is going to be huge. And like I said, special teams is going to probably be the difference in that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, our punt returners and our kick return, we got to catch the ball. We got to field the ball. We got to make plays. Our kickoff coverage team has got to tackle. Uh, you know, we just got to score when we get the opportunity and then we just feel like our defense has to create turnovers. So, uh, and not give up the big play, which Southern Guilford is really, really good at this year. So that's going to be our keys. Well, it should be a great football game. Anybody wants to see, see a really good game Friday night in Guilford County, Tommy Grayson Field, Gibsonville is the place to be, Southern Guilford and Eastern Guilford. Coach Aguilar, thank you for taking the time to uh, talk to us about the game and the matchup, and we wish you luck in that game and going forward. Hey, I really appreciate it and really appreciate all the coverage you give to all these high school teams, man. It's it's awesome. You don't get enough credit for what you do, so we're just excited to have you uh, kind of come to our, our place and, and, and give us a little press. So thank you. Thank you. Take care. Hey, thank you.